Ever heard the phrase, what you see isn't always what you get? Well, the same rings true for EVs. While you may see advertised 330 miles, you don't actually get that much. And that comes back to how efficient your car is and where your range is getting lost or gained. So today we're gonna cover Tesla's new energy graph that's in the vehicle, how to read it, how to make the most of it, and how to make sure that you are gaining the most range that you can uh, using that energy graph. And then on top of that, to understand more about efficiency and energy, a additional tool that you could use to gain even more information via our sponsor, Tesla. So let's jump in the car and let's have a look. All right, so we're in the car now. And just for context, I am running software version 2022.44.30.5. Now uh, I am running a uh, full self-driving beta build, but by now everyone should have the new energy chart. Uh, if you do not see it down here, it looks just like that, but you can actually open up your uh, drawer here and there's the energy uh, app. So if we open up the energy app, uh, you'll notice if you've ever looked at this before, uh, let me just show you what it used to look like. This is what the energy app used to look like. It would basically tell you your watts per mile, um, what your average is and what projected is. And it just wasn't intuitive or very clean to look at um, and didn't really offer a whole lot of data. Uh, but now under the drive tab, you'll see this new look and feel. Uh, really nice because it tells you exactly how many miles are consumed right at the top. Now, uh, typically when you navigate to a destination and you put in the destination, it tells you what you're going to arrive at your destination with. But as many of you have seen, that differs from what you actually arrive with. Again, remember, what you see isn't what you get. Uh, what this hopes to do is to really hone in on what exactly is leveraging your energy the most. Now you'll see here right below the total miles consumed is actually tells you that, hey, I'm right now um, using 5.6 miles more than what the trip is projecting that I should be using. And so the first question comes into, well, why? Why am I using more? If I come down here, you'll see that the number one using 3.5 miles more than the trip projected is my driving. And that's probably due to me driving faster. So typically the faster you drive, the more your car has to use energy wise to push air out of the way uh, and move the vehicle. So it uses up more energy. Typically from uh, the minute you start going over 65 miles per hour, you're gonna notice more range uh, uh, being lost uh, than at 65. Number two is climate. Now we are in the winter months, so I am using a little bit more heat. So you'll see heat is using about 1.3 miles more. Um, now there's battery conditioning. That's typically what, what goes into effect when you navigate to a supercharger. Uh, next is elevation. Believe it or not, elevation affects your range as well. When you're going uphill, you're utilizing more energy of your vehicle to climb that mountain and thus will utilize more energy uh, from your vehicle. And then everything else gets lumped in at the bottom, radio and so forth. Uh, now what's cool here is that the gray line here is what it's projecting. Um, the orange line is what you're actually using. So the closer your orange line is to your gray line, the more accurate your estimation that Tesla is giving you is gonna be. Um, but what's cool here is you can actually see it more in real time, what's being used and what you're actually gonna end with, um, which is really cool. Not only that, but this is when you're driving and then it gives you range tips. So, hey, my climate is being used a little bit more, but it's telling you, hey, if you just decrease your cabin temperature by two degrees, you're gonna save 0.3 miles. Uh, so really, really handy tips and tricks. I have seen it also tell me, hey, if you drive a little bit slower, uh, maybe decrease by three or five miles per hour, uh, you'll gain an extra you know, one to two miles. So really handy to see that. You'll always see those range tests done where they have an EV driving at like 25 miles per hour and they can go much, much more um, than what the rated range of that vehicle is. And that's because you're not driving as fast. Um, now, not only that, but you can also look at um, how much is being used when your car is in park how much screen time is, is taking from your, uh, from your battery. Preconditioning, cabin overheat. Now, I don't really use preconditioning at all. I don't use cabin overheat. I do use sentry mode. Um, I do use my mobile app, so you'll see mobile app also takes some of your battery because every time you trigger the, the mobile app, 
your car is waking up. Um, I don't use summon a whole lot. Um, vehicle standby, most of the time it's screen time. And because when you're parked, what else is there to do in a great car like this is watch some Netflix or something like that. So I was watching Netflix yesterday. So that's where that one mile right there was. And I would say on estimate, I was uh, watching about 40 minutes there. Um, and then what's really nice is you can even say that's just since the last drive. But if I want to say since last charge, which is just yesterday, you'll see screen time actually went up to one and a half miles uh, because I was actually watching yesterday. But even in drive, um, the data that's here is amazing and really, really insightful and helpful to not only Tesla owners, but EV owners in general to understand what affects your battery. Now, this is great. But if you wanted to dive into more data and see more than just this, that's where it comes into today's sponsor, Teslab. Now, Teslab is a tool. It's an app that you download on your phone and it connects to your car and unlocks so much information. Just on the topic of energy and efficiency, it allows you to see the same amount of information that you get in your car, but not only for that instant drive, the drive that you're on, but on every single trip that you've made, you can label those trips and save them and be able to compare efficiency. Not only that, but you can actually compete on who has the best efficiency between you and your friends and the rest of your community and the entire Tesla community that's on Teslab, which is growing massively. Not only that, but you can control your vehicle within the app. You can unlock more and more data about your vehicle, about its range, its efficiency, uh, supercharging uh, reviews on, from your friends, videos that are called zaps that review the supercharging stops, where you can get food, bathrooms, and so forth. There's a community aspect and connecting with people and they're just keep building upon this app, making it better and better. I've been using Tesla before they even started sponsoring these videos and I'm very grateful uh, that they've been able to support me and this channel by sponsoring uh, these videos. And so if you have a Tesla, I highly suggest that you use the Tesla app to unlock more information about your car and learn more. So use the link down in the description below to download Tesla today. Now let's get back to the video. All right, so that is range, energy, and efficiency in your Tesla, how you can better understand it, read it, and comprehend it better. Let me know, what's your range and efficiency look like? Leave them down in the comments down below. And again, remember, if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the new year. See ya.